dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Robinson recorded a song called Daylight and Darkness. He asked his love interest in this song, how can you be daylight and darkness at the same time? Mm -hmm. It is possible for some things to coexist and flow together beautifully, like peanut butter and jelly, herbs and fries, milk and cereal, soap and water, armor all and leather. But there are some things that cannot coexist and even when incompatible elements are in the same environment, you cannot force them to mix because they don't belong together. Breach. Oil and vinegar, oil and water, texting and driving, drinking and driving, alcohol and medication. As witnessed, when some of these elements are found in the same environment, danger is imminent, chaos ensues, and serious harm even fatalities are the end result. So, mm -hmm. even as saints, we know light and darkness cannot dwell together. We also know that good and evil is the striking difference between God and the devil. Mm -hmm. Even heaven and hell have distinctive boundaries. But we insist on living a life of daylight and darkness at the same time. Let me explain. I'm praising God on Sunday, daylight, but cursing him with my words and actions on Monday, darkness. They don't mix. I'm lifting holy hands, daylight, mm. but hate my neighbors. Mm. I won't give to anyone in need and don't preach to me about tithing or mm. ask me to give another offering to anybody else. This is my money, darkness. <laughs> I know somebody ain't going to like this message today. Praise God. I claim to be an ambassador for Christ and serve on different ministries in my church, daylight. But my attitude towards God's people is a clear indicator I don't want to help those I'm serving. <laughs> practice? What's practice? Yes, I know I'm in charge of the dance ministry. Yes, I know I'm in charge of the praise and worship team. Yes, I know I'm in charge of the prayer team. But I got stuff to do and won't be able to make any of those meetings. I just, I can't. <laughs> that don't mix. <laughs> How am I serving God daylight with posters and statues of some other God in my house? Mm. And I'm chanting to Buddha or other familiar spirits linked to other religious, re, other religions. That's darkness. Mm. Ah, I only smoke weed Monday through Saturday. On the seventh day, I rest. But catch me Monday. No, 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 no. Yes, I am married and I value our holy union daylight. Mm. Mm -hmm. But um, where you live? Mm. You down? Mm. Now you know that don't mix. You know that ain't right. Yes! How can you be daylight and darkness at the same time? Smokey Robinson, I love the song, and I love you, Smokey Robinson, and I would be honored to meet you someday. But to answer your question, you cannot be both at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You don't believe me? Mm-hmm. Listen. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 through 17. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. Mm-hmm. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Mm-hmm. Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony is there between Christ and Bilal? Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? What argument is there between the temple of God and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk among them. And I will be their God and they will be my people. Verse 17. This is the hard hitting part right here. (laughs) Therefore, come out from and be separate. Mm-hmm. says the Lord come out from them and be mm-hmm. separate touch mm-hmm. no one clean thing and I will receive you here are some questions for inquiring minds number one what does darkness acts of flesh look like mm-hmm. Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 through 21 the acts of the flesh are obvious Mm-hmm. Sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. Mm-hmm. Number two, what does daylight, for example, his marvelous light, his spirit, the spirit of God, the living God, Jesus Christ, look like? Mm-hmm. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and Mm self-control. Now, question number three, and I'm going to get a little bit grammatically incorrect here and Southern. Baby, which one you want? Mm -hmm. Which one you want? In Revelation chapter 3, verse 15 through 19, Jesus is addressing the church of Laodicea. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right, Pastor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the seven churches. And he says to them, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. This verse in the New King James versions is written as this. I will vomit you out of my mouth. That's right. If Jesus has to do that, he is not pleased at all. That means we have literally made him sick to his stomach. Verse 19, love I rebuke. That's right. And so be earnest and repent. So Mm. either you are a child of the king or you are a servant of the fallen one. The fallen one would be Lucifer, the devil, the father of all lies, crispy critter, Mm. the enemy. Mm -hmm. Do you want a life that emulates the love, joy, peace, power, and eternal pleasures at his right hand that comes from the light? Or do you want an enslaved lifestyle full of confusion, depression, hate, idolatry, drunkenness, and foolishness that comes only from darkness? Mm. Which one? Which one you want? Yes. One thing thing is clear. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 says this. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. There are certain versions in the Bible that refers to money as mammon. Mm -hmm. And mammon is simply wealth regarded as an evil influence or false object of worship or devotion. Mm -hmm. Number four, let's say, for example, you may be stuck. You don't want to serve both. You know you can't. So how can I serve God and Mm -hmm. God only? Galatians 5.25 says this. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Yes. How how do you keep in step with the Spirit? There are two ways. Meditate on his word. Mm -hmm. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says this. Keep the book of the law always Mm -hmm. on your lips. That's right. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Mm-hmm. The other part of that is meditate on his goodness. If yes. You can't else, meditate on his goodness. Meditate what he's done to you. Meditate that situation he got you out of. Dwell on the but God or had it not been for God moments. 
in your life. And then ask yourself this question. Psalm 116, verse 12. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to Amen. me? Amen. Amen. Here's the second part of how to serve God. Galatians 5, verse 26 says this. Let us not become conceited, provoking mm. and envying each other. Mm -hmm. God has called us to love one another, to Amen. pray for one another and encourage one another, to help one another along this journey. Proverbs 27, 17 says this, as iron sharpens iron, so one person or one man sharpens another. Mm -hmm. In closing, daylight and darkness cannot exist at the same time in Christians yeah. boldly professing their faith. The word of God is clear on the signs of those who walk by the spirit or who walk in darkness. And guess what? He is coming for his church. He's coming. He's coming back to judge us. Mm -hmm. So it is my prayer he will see you and know you. I pray he sees me and knows me too. I would hate to make him sick. And mm -hmm. honestly, I have done too much of that already. Mm -hmm. I want to stand boldly and proudly as a child of his marvelous light. What do you want? <laughs> bless him, bless him. Amen. Yes, bless him. Praise God. Yeah, let's take it. Let's, let's not just be hearers of the word, but to be doers of the word also. Yes. Brothers and yes. sisters. Thank yes. you, Michi, so much. Pray us out, my dear. Lord, convict our hearts this yes, morning. Yes, Lord. Let us confess our actions of darkness to you, Father. We have to know and understand what it means to live in darkness and the light. Mm -hmm. It's to be lukewarm. Mm -hmm. I pray we decide this day to have a heart that is hot, on fire, for you and you alone. Holy Spirit, pierce us deeply. Remind us we cannot have our cake, the light, and ice cream too, darkness. But let us know that we can eat our cake and ice cream too as children of your light. You have promised us eternal pleasures forevermore, which are at your right hand. Today, right now, let us commit to being transformed by the renewing of our minds to know and live in your will that is good, acceptable, and perfect. In Jesus' name I pray. Bless Amen. you, God. Bless you. Have a wonderful day, brothers and sisters. We'll see you tomorrow. Hallelujah. Uh, Thanks. Mm -hmm. Pray for my voice. <laughs>